Hi, it's Dr. Melina, and I'm thrilled to be joined today by Hungry Girl and best-selling author Lisa Lillian, and she's going to show us some great ways to make over those foods that you love and you thought that you couldn't live without because you were trying to watch your calories. Lisa, great to have you here. Great to see you. What have you got here? There's a lot of cool ingredients. Yeah, so what I have here today are things that you should keep in your kitchen at all times to help you create foods that taste great, that seem fattening, that really aren't. And my first magic ingredient, Fiber One. Now the best thing I ever did is put Fiber One in a blender. You pulverize the stuff, turn it into a powder. It sort of is a swap for breadcrumbs so you can make anything that you would normally make that's really fattening and deep fried, like onion rings and eggplant parmesan and jalapeno poppers. And buffalo wings, Buffalo right? wings, <laughs> exactly. So you just roll whatever you want in egg beaters or egg whites, then you roll it in the crumbs and you bake it and then you have your faux fried food that tastes really fattening but isn't, it's amazing. That actually sounds easy enough that I could do it and I don't cook at all. I use a microwave and a can opener so I'm going to give it a shot. And also not only is it delicious but it's healthy because it has a lot of insoluble fiber so it's a great source of getting up to those 25 grams of fiber that we need a day. Okay, next magic ingredient pumpkin, canned pumpkin. Don't confuse it with pumpkin pie filling, which is loaded with sugar and has a lot of calories. Canned pumpkin is high in fiber, low in calories, low in fat, and is a great swap for things like eggs, butter, and oil when you bake. And pumpkin is a great source of fiber and beta carotene. So again, it's healthy and delicious, which is just a fantastic combo. It's what great. have we got up front there? Okay, these are Laughing Cow Light Original Swiss Cheese Wedges. Another magical ingredient, phenomenal. First of all, they spread like cream cheese, so they're mm -hmm. a great cream cheese swap but also they melt amazingly well, and you can just put them in cheese sauces, you can make nachos, anything you want, this is your go-to cheese. 35 calories a wedge, tastes so good. That's fantastic, and it's a good source of, a very small, but good source of lean protein, and adds so much flavor for 35 calories. I actually love putting it over veg. I don't cook at all, so I mean, I'm going to try a few recipes That's cooking, from the book. That's cooking, if you put that on vegetables, it, I press it press on the microwave, I press for two minutes. So. That counts. Okay, what about up front here? What can we make with those? Okay, those are tofu shirataki noodles. I thought I couldn't have pasta anymore. I love pasta, but my problem is I eat too many servings of it, so mm -hmm. in order to feel satisfied, I'll eat like, 600 calories worth of pasta, bad idea. This, you can eat a whole bag of these noodles for 40 calories. They're made of tofu and yam flour. They look a little scary because they come in a bag floating with liquid. Little space age. Yes, but if you rinse them and dry them really well, you can make an 80 calorie fettuccine alfredo using that cheese right there. Did you hear that viewers? An 80 calorie fettuccine alfredo if you get the book. Okay, last but not <laughs> least, what do we got? Okay, this is Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla. World's best kept secret, why? because it tastes creamy and delicious and it has half the calories of skim milk. So if you want to make a latte, if you want to make a smoothie and you want to use milk and you want to save calories and add flavor, you cannot beat this stuff. Again, 40 calories for a full cup. Give us some other examples real quick of what you would use this for in some of the recipes in your book. Okay, well I add this to my oatmeal. I, again, lattes, which you know, if you use half milk, half coffee, you're typically adding a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. You make lattes with this, you're only adding about 20 calories. So here's a milk swap that tastes better than skim milk and has half the calories. It's made from almonds, it's all natural, and it only has, again, 40 calories. So you can have a latte, your smoothies, just completely reduced. Latte is for like 40 or 50 calories thanks to this stuff. And I've been making smoothies with water and like hating the taste <laughs> for years. I'm a convert. And almonds, of course, being really good for your health, for lowering cholesterol. They're a good source of fiber. So you're double bonus on all these foods. So again, these are fantastic ingredients. And if you want to learn how to use them in more recipes, check out Lisa's book or go to her website and sign up for her amazing email daily blast, HungryGirl.com. Thanks so much, Lisa. Thank you.